Hi, Nico from Voiceflow here. In this video, we will see how you can use the 11 labs function in your uh, Voiceflow voice agent. So that will be a pretty quick video. Let's start with a demo so you have a better understanding of uh, what we are doing here. Uh, I'll have a text uh, and I'm using the 11 labs function to translate this text to an audio using a custom voice from 11 labs. Here we go. Hey, I'm Zoran from Voiceflow. After almost two years in the making, there is no greater joy for me to announce the release of functions. So as you can hear, what we're doing is this text will be sent to 11 labs and what we will get in return is an audio file. So in our function, we will need to translate that audio file. And this is what we are doing right there um, from an audio MPEG. So again, an audio file, we are going to get that uh, buffer and translate that to an at data URI uh, sort of URL. So we can then use this into an audio step. And that's why we need uh, a voice agent because in the voice agent, you have access to the uh, audio step, which is right there. So what we are doing, we are using a set step. So uh, here, set. In that set step, we are populating the newly created TTS variable in our agent with uh, this sentence. And we are sending the sentence to our function. Regarding the function settings, we are passing our variable, so the value we've just set here into the text variable we need the voice ID and the uh, 11 labs IPI key for this to work. In return, if everything goes well, we will populate the audio data URI and use this into the uh, audio step. So just to uh, have better understanding of how to set that audio step with a variable, instead of uh, browsing for a file, you just click this little icon here and pass the data or audio data URL in there. Click enter and you're good to go. Um, last thing, so the uh, 11 Labs IPI key is available on your account. If you click right there on the profile, you will get access to your IPI key. And the, uh, the voice ID is from any of the uh, custom voice or existing voice. You just have to click here on the uh, ID to copy the voice ID. And that's it. So this is the 11 Labs function that you can use in your VoiceFlow voice agent.